This is question four of the statistical linear regression chapter of the regression models book. The question says load the empty cars data set, fit a linear regression with miles per gallon as the outcome and horsepower as the predictor. Interpret your coefficients, recenter for the intercept if necessary. So let's load the empty cars data set. So data empty cars. Let's look just at the head of the empty cars data set. There's miles per gallon as MPG lowercase and horsepower as HP lowercase. If you want more help on the data set you can do question mark empty cars. Then it brings it up. Oh, I think that's an error from bringing up the HTML help. Let's fit our linear model. I want to do a summary of the linear model of MPG as the outcome horsepower as the predictor, data equals empty cars. Okay, I want that summary and I just want to look at the coefficient table. And there's our output. Our estimate is negative 0.06, about zero, negative 0 0.07. So that means that for every one unit increase in horsepower, we get about a 0 0.07 decrease in miles per gallon. This makes sense as horse, the higher horsepower cars are going to be the, the cars with the bigger engines that tend to get worse miles per gallon. So, this, so our regression, the sign of our regression model does actually make sense. This relationship is highly statistically significant, suggesting that if we were to test a hypothesis that this slope coefficient is zero, we would reject the null hypothesis. Our intercept is the estimate of the miles per gallon for a zero horsepower car. Of course, that's not a meaningful estimate. The problem suggests perhaps recentering it. We can do that within the model. We have to encase our centering statement with a function i. Okay, so I have horsepower now minus mean horsepower, and then I get an intercept that is now 20, the intercept now is interpreted as the miles per gallon, the estimated miles per gallon for the average horsepowered car.